With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Okay, so the given question here we have is if the straight line LX plus MY plus N equals to 0 be a normal. Okay, to the hyperbola this one X square by A square minus Y square by B square equals to what? 1. Then by the application of calculus, I have to prove that A square by L square minus B square by M square equals to what? A square plus B square whole square divided by N square. Okay, so write down I can hear that. This is my solution part. Okay, so it says that. Question of, says that what is the equation of hyperbola? So my equation of hyper right my equation of hyperbola is basically is given to me in the question as x square by a square minus y square by b square equals to what one right this is the equation given to me in the question and now and now what will be the equation for a uh, normal for this hyperbola we know that general equation of normal in parametric form also equation of normal okay will be what this will be equals to a x by sec theta Right, you guys know the equation of hyperbola in terms of what? In terms of parametric form b y divided by what? Tan theta, right, is equals to a square plus b square, right. This is my equation number one, let's suppose. So basically, this is the general equation of normal for this hyperbola. And question says that this line lx plus my plus n is equal to zero is a also a normal to the hyperbola, right. So I can say that as in the given question, my lx, my lx plus my, right, and plus of n equals to what zero let's suppose this is my equation number two is also what is also a normal to the hyperbola a normal to the hyperbola right here let me write just hyperbola so in that case what i'm going to do i'm going to compare these two equations equation number one and equation number two okay so in that case the if i compare this we will become what the ratios equals to each other right coefficient ratio should be equals to each other so this will be written as here L by A sec theta. So I can write here that here this can be done as L A by sec theta. Okay, is equals to this is equals to what exactly? This is my equals to m, right? M divided by what? B by tan theta. So this will be B by tan theta. Is equals to what? This is equals to my n, right? This is n divided by this coefficient is A square plus B square, right? This is the value we are going to receive. And guys, look at one thing carefully. First of all, what is the value of this a square plus b square? This should be positive or negative? Exactly. If we can see this equation, this part written on the RSA side. So if I put this part on the LSA side, this would be negative. So if I should write here negative before this term. Okay, so now I can write this updated term as what? I'm going to put this sec theta to the denominator part. So this will be written L sec theta divided by A equals what? M tan theta divided by B is equals to what? It will remain same as it is n minus a square plus b square and this is what? Minus common. So now what I'm going to do? I'm going to consider this one right and this one. So if I compare these two equations, so from this I can clearly see that what will the value of uh, sec theta we are going to receive? So my sec theta is equals to what? a will go to the uh, numerator side of this n. So this will be a and I can write here or I can say minus of a n, right? Just put the minus before on the numerator part. And this is what L. L will become on the numerator part. So this is a square plus b square, right? So L a square plus b square, right? And here, can I find the value of tan theta exactly? Just uh, compare now this and this term. So from this, my tan theta value will be my tan theta value will be what? N with the product of b, or I can say minus b n divided by what? M will come in the denominator part of this side. So this will be M divided by a square plus b square right okay so now what i can do we know that there is an identity okay there is an identity that we know that we have an identity in terms of second tan which is sec square theta minus of tan square theta is equal to what one right so what i'm going to do i'm going to square these two values and i'm going to put here in this equation so from this if i square this value sec theta so this whole square will become okay so look here carefully this whole square will be done as now a square n square right because sec theta is what a n so a square n square divided by okay so l square and a square plus b square whole square and minus of what what is the value of tan theta here this will become b square n square sorry n square or m square right n square exactly so this will be m square and a square plus b square whole square equals to what one okay so now what i can do here I can take a square plus b square common. Okay, so if I take a square and b square common from this equation, so this can be done as 1 upon a square plus b square 
whole square common before this will become what a square by okay one more thing we can take common we can also take common n square from the numerator right so i can also write here rather than one i can write here that this is what n right a square a square by l square right minus of what b square by m square equals to what one right if i now put this portion so this portion of equation on the RHS side. So this equation we are going to receive as this will become a square by l square minus b square by m square is equal to what? Okay, this will be equals to a square plus b square. Okay, whole square divided by n square. Okay, so basically this is the solution we are going to receive. Right, this one. And if I go to the question, it says that I have to find out the proof of this equation. Right, same equation we are going to just find out. A square by L square minus B square by M square equals what? A square plus B square whole square divided by N square, right? So I can say that we just proved it here. So proved this is the portion we are just looking for. So my equation is what? A square by L square minus B square by M square equals what? A square plus B square whole square divided by N of a square. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.